y'all welcome back to tommy bites tv thank y'all so much for being here if you are new welcome to the channel i'm so glad that you decided to hit the red button if you are returning welcome back and if you have not hit that red button go ahead and subscribe what you waiting on so y'all um i'm about to go into walmart because uh, as you know i am doing my three month pantry all over again prepper pantry all over again and that includes the working pantry and the emergency pantry um so i'm gonna go in walmart and i did do a dollar tree video as well just to show you some things you can do to start your your prepper pantry i cannot talk today just some things to help you figure out what path you need to take no one can tell you what your household needs only you know that so i'm just giving you ideas of things that um you should think about when starting your three-month prepper pantry it's not just about um getting food canned goods and all of those things uh dried food dehydrated food it's not just about that it is about everything in a whole what would you need in case of an emergency you know do you have all your medications filled um i try personally to always have extra medication um i just get it filled if the insurance will do it i will get it and so that way i have that stash in case of situations like um the pharmacies not being open and you're not being able to access your uh medicines that you need life-saving medicines y'all whether you're high blood pressure medication whether you're diabetic anything anything so y'all i hope you enjoyed this video i hope that you get something from it um it is meant to be educational it's things that i have already gotten myself hey Hey girl, hey, how I'm always are you? on YouTube. I said, let me get her channel. Oh. <laughs> Tammy Bites, Carolina. Yeah, oh. it's just Tommy Bites TV oh, now. Oh, Tommy, Tommy Bites TV. Uh huh. Yeah. I didn't mean to scare you. Honey. No, that's okay. I was in here I recording that. Subscribe to you, Tommy Bites TV. Yes. 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 Thank you. Good Share good me out too. Going. I appreciate it. Bye. So y'all. Oh my God. She did kind of make me jump like, Ooh, wait a minute now. So anyway, where was I? You just want to make sure that you have what your family needs. Sit down, you know, whether with your spouse or just the kids in your household, find out what they need to survive. If the stores were to shut down, if uh, things weren't on the shelf, you know, go ahead and get that stuff now if you can. I hope that this video helps y'all. That's all I just want to say. And y'all have a blessed day and let's get into the video. So when I got into Walmart, I wasn't planning on recording the pharmacy, but I noticed that they were closed and it was very early, not early like morning, but afternoon. And why are they closed? So that's another reason you need to make sure you have your medications with you. So having enough on stock is what you need to do because you never know when you, you know, an emergency might break out. And also try to get your vitamins, anything that you might need to store in your emergency prepper room or your um, go bag. Another thing you might want to get is some vitamin C. Your health is one of the most important things that you have that will get you through any kind of emergency. Now, let's talk about something that's really important, not just for females, but having a great supply of feminine napkins, tampons, those are needed, whether you're bothering them or whether you have a wound that needs to be addressed, you can use those things. You also want to keep on hand something in case you injure your ankle, your wrist, or anything that needs to be bandaged up. 
You want to take care of those things. Also, get you some um, cough medicine, flu medicine, anything that you would need in case the stores are closed or the things are not on the shelf that you need. Right now, it's about to be allergy season, so you want to make sure you have ample supply of that in your emergency prepper pantry. Pedialyte is a great source of electrolytes. So that's another good thing to have on hand. In case you have the flu or you're just sick and you need to replenish yourself or you have cramps, they're good for cramps as well. And this is gripe water. This is for your babies, you know, when they have an upset stomach, you want to give them something. But us old folk, you know, we give them baking soda and water. So let's talk about antacids. Please keep those in case you eat something that does not agree with you or you have heartburn or anything, something to coat your chest or your stomach. I keep some in my car. I keep some in my prepper room. I keep some in my bedroom because you never know when you might need something. alcohol peroxide those things are in demand they had the shelves full like a month ago now you can't find alcohol but make sure if you can grab it while you can i'm pretty stocked on mine but when i see it i try to grab it because you can use those for so many different things next let's talk about bug repellent this is something that is so needed in case you are stuck outside you can't get in your house um you're on the go you grabbed your bug out bag and you realize you don't have anything to protect you from the insects outside this is something that you need to have more than one I do recommend this one right here. We use it when we go fishing and it really does work. And it doesn't smell that great, but it does keep the bugs, the mosquitoes from biting you. Next, this should have been the first thing I started with. You want to make sure you have water, enough water for everybody in your household. Make sure you keep water in different locations and also never store your water on concrete floors. Also ask yourself, do you have something to drink your water out of? What if you run out of water? Do you have something that can filter the water for you so you know that it's safe for you and your family to drink or even bathe in? Here are some bags that you can just wrap around your waist. I call them fanny packs. Some come with water bottles. Some don't come with water bottles, but it's easy access, different pockets within it that you can store your items. Here's another way you can store your water. It's a two liter reservoir bag. I call it um, like a catheter bag because that's what it looks like when I worked at the hospital. And then this little piece here is the shut off valve. And then how you get the water in is you twist off the blue cap and put your water in that way. And you have the tubing, the water will flow through. Here's a different little bag that you can carry your water and whatever um, items you need to have on you, your EDCs. I've been saying I need a flask, and here's one right here, y'all. You can put your water in it. It's another way to carry your water, and, you know, the old people, you know, they probably carry a little something stronger than water. Next, they have the foldable canteens, y'all. I bought four of these when that Walmart was going out of sale, out of business, that is. And I bought four of these for myself, husband, and two kids. So we all have our own in our own bags. If you do not have your go bag, 
We plan to be bug in people, but we do have bags just in case because you never know what might happen. Each person needs to have their own bag. No matter the age, they need to have their own bag. They may not be able to carry it, but they need to have their own bag with what they need in it. And these are just filters, different kinds for your water bottle. And also the straws that can go in the bottles. We have those as well. Also think about if you do end up bugging out, where are you going to go? You need to have tarps, somewhere to sleep, um, something to cover yourself with, and let's not forget the tissue. <laughs> this is a to-go tissue, y'all. Just stick it in your little bag that you carry on you and keep it pushing. These are your different um, bug bite kits that you can add to your first aid kit. Make sure you have a first aid kit, y'all. And now we have some Life Straws, just different brands. Um, this will allow you to purify your water before drinking it right through the straw. So if you already bugged out and you've left your house, you might want to get you a folding shovel. You might want to have that in your um, backpack. You also might want to have a tent somewhere to uh, stay. And last but not least, you want to have a portable toilet. This toilet, it has legs on the back that fold out and you could just dig a hole, put that over the hole and use the bathroom. You have to do what you have to do. And I put that tissue there because, hey, they go together. The next way we can use the bathroom is to buy one of these toilet seats. And you take this and you place it on a five gallon bucket. Maybe put you some sawdust or some cat litter, something in the bucket and use the bathroom. Easy peasy. Here's a foldable water jug. We have, um, I think one or two of those. And then this is just a privacy curtain pop-up, you know, for you using the bathroom, you can place it in there. So let's talk about food. You can carry those canned goods you have and struggle, or you can grab you some of these dehydrated meals right here. They have these over in the camping section and they also carry the other ones over in the regular food section and these are you know they have some flavor to them they they trying y'all they trying so pick what you like you see the prices right there they're not too costly now i tried those ice cream and i did not care for them i will tell you that These are some pop-up cups. Now ask yourself how you're going to prepare your meal if you're on the go. So you want to make sure you have the right equipment that you know how to use what you have. Do a test run on your equipment. Make sure it works. Make sure you know how it functions. Make sure you have all the propane or butane that you need for your foldable stoves. Here's a portable grill that you can just take with you because you don't want to lug something big with you. You want to be able to cook on the go, right? So this would work out just fine. It's a four in one.
So if you have small kids, you don't want them to, you know, be worried about what's going on. Get them something that they can consider to be fun, like that flashlight or these flashlights over here with the animal shapes. But also make sure you have flashlights and that you have batteries for your flashlights. Check your batteries if they're already in your flashlight to make sure that they're working. Rain gear is another essential that you should have in case you have to do activities outside. You want to stay as dry as possible. Being cold is not your friend. Also having a tarp in your backpack is very important. Having different ways to prepare your food is a must. We cannot just depend on our canned jars or our frozen meats. We have to look at other options. And you can find these dehydrators over in the camping section. Having many ways to stay warm is also very vital. Depending on the weather that you're in, having some long johns or something that you can wear under your clothing. Once you have all the necessities that you will need for your emergency room, now it's time to decide how you're going to protect it. And having the right gear is very important. Making sure that you are up to date on your licensing, making sure you have a way to carry it and transport it, a way to store it safely is very important. So now I'm going to show you how you can take this five gallon bucket and the toilet seat that I got out of the camping area and turn it into your portable toilet. Here's another form of emergency food. This is the 72 hour emergency food supply by ReadyWise. They have many different flavors on the back, you can see. So this video is intended to show you what you can use to start your prepper pantry or emergency pantry. In no way, shape, or form am I telling you this is what you need to go out and get, but just some ideas and tips. So I hope you enjoyed it and got something from it. Please like the video, comment down below, and let me know some ideas of things that you are doing to prepare.